So YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraven here uh, with another video and um, real quick before we get into this don't let anybody tell you how you should feel about this because I've seen some people oh don't feel so no you are entitled to feel it, it however you want to feel about it if you upset about it cool if you feel like it's next man up which it technically is but you still upset cool if you're not upset cool too is so many people that always try to tell people how they should feel about stuff and that's not your call that is not your call anyway team keep it clean um after we still waiting on confirmation too um but i mean the the worst is already to be expected uh with gus edwards and marcus peters um but the ravens in the corresponding move to what went down uh, just what less than an hour ago, um, the Ravens have signed Devontae Freeman to their practice squad. Uh, so right now they have both Le'Veon Bell and Devontae Freeman on their practice squad. Their only running backs on the active roster are Tyson Williams and uh, Trenton Cannon. Tyson Williams, undrafted rookie free agent from last year. Uh, so this is his second year in the league. Uh, and Trenton Cannon spent some time with the Panthers, spent some time with the Jets. I think he was like a fifth or sixth round pick in 2019, I want to say. Um, and he is our other active running back on on the uh, the roster. Uh, Le'Veon Bell, practice squad. Devontae Freeman, practice squad. Um, so you, you know that one, if not both, are getting called up for that first game. Because before... It was like John Harbaugh even talked about it today. Oh, maybe Le'Veon Bell might get caught up for that first game. But now it's like you really ain't got no choice. You don't. You don't. You don't have a choice. Um, with Devontae Free, see, I remember uh, just to back up a little bit, obviously before all these injuries, um, when there was the question about should the Ravens sign Devontae Freeman or should the Ravens sign Le'Veon Bell, who should the Ravens sign? And some people joked about signing both. But this was certainly not the reason we wanted them to sign both running backs. Uh, but unfortunately, we are here. Um, and yeah, like we talked about earlier with this whole thing, it is next man up. But with even with it being next man up, you got to feel for Gus Edwards. We, we already felt for J.K. Dobbins. This was supposed to be a year where it's like, okay, J.K., boy, this, this dude already started breaking out last year. But now this year, he's going to take it to a whole nother level because he's going to be the featured back from jump. Last year, he was not the featured back from jump, but this year he was going to be. He was going to be the Ravens' number one back, uh, and, and he was just going to take off. He's going to be more involved in the passing game, obviously more involved in the running game. Oh, boy, J.K. Dobbins. Then, boom, and on the first drive of the, the last preseason game, he suffers a season-ending injury. And it's like, man, sucks for J.K. But then it's like, all right. Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards been around since what I think 2018. Showed his stuff as a rookie. Showed his stuff in the second year. Showed his stuff in the third year. Oh man! And they even got gave Gus Edwards a contract extension. And then this off season, you got to learn more about Gus and, and where he's from and his family and whatnot. And that just made you love Gus even more. And, and Gus Edwards is somebody you like. If I were to hear Gus Edwards speak, just randomly, I wouldn't even know it was him. I wouldn't know it was him. If I heard Lamar Jackson speak, I would know who it was. If I heard Hollywood speak, I would know who it was. If I heard Clayus Campbell speak, Marcus Peters, I would know who they were. Marlon Humphrey, I would know who they were. But Gus, my point when I say that, that I don't even, I wouldn't even know what Gus sounded like randomly, would be because Gus don't talk much. He don't talk much. Gus, he just shows up, do what he got to do, make it happen. That's it. Show up, do what he got to do, make it happen. And he has been doing a great job. And we were all thinking like, oh, man, Gus Edwards. This is going to be Gus Edwards' chance, man. Gus Edwards, man, he been just, they keep putting him behind all these backs every year. This is going to be Gus' time to shine. Gus could easily be a starter. Oh, they, they put him behind uh, who? Alex Collins. They put him behind Mark Ingram. They put him behind J.K. Dobbins. Now, Gus, unfortunately, due to the circumstance, obviously not celebrating a J.K. Dobbins injury. But we were thinking like, okay, well, it is what it is now. Gus Edwards going to get his chance now. And now it's gone. It's gone. Just like that. It's gone. So it just, it, it's, it's a very, very uh, big blow 
to the Ravens, a very, very big blow to Gus Edwards. Uh, and that's that's just huge. Uh, now, Ravens, they they are a team, again, that they are built to run that football. So Tyson Williams, uh, and we had just been having all these conversations recently about how we expected, especially if Le'Veon Bell went up, we expected Tyson Williams to go down, to drop down on that depth chart. Because, you know, Le'Veon Bell's not playing special teams. If they were to sign Devontae Freeman, which they have now, but before, if they were to sign Devontae Freeman, you know, he's not playing special teams. Gus Edwards not playing special teams. Who does that leave? It left Tyson Williams. But now, with Gus Edwards out, Tyson Williams, he moved up a notch. With J.K. Dobbins out, Tyson Williams, he moved up another notch. So, Tyson Williams, it's, it's your time now, man. It's your time. And the thing that he has over Le'Veon Bell, the thing that he has over Devontae Freeman, the thing that he has over Trenton Cannon is that he knows this team. He knows that playbook much better than those other three do. Not saying that those other three can't learn it because they obviously can. They're professional NFL players and they're professionals for a reason. And they've each been around in the league for at least two years each. Obviously, Devontae Freeman and Le'Veon Bell been around for a lot more, but... My point is that these guys are still in the league for a reason because they obviously know what they're doing. But with Tyson Williams, he has that upper hand on those other guys because he's been around the Ravens since last year. So he's got to study the Ravens since last year. He's got to understand and gain so much knowledge about the Ravens since last year. So that's why he has the upper, the upper hand and the advantage over Le'Veon Bell and over Devontae Freeman. Uh, Ravens, they are definitely a, a running back by committee team. Um, the first running back, he going to get his. The second running back, he going to get his. You know, Lamar, he going to get his in too. Uh, but now you, it's, it's the next guys up, man. Not even next man up, it's next men up. And this like, man, this is just, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. And I, I've been seeing a lot of people going back and forth about it, but I do feel like there should be some concern about what the Ravens are doing. Because I know uh, with, with Marcus Peters, they said that he was, uh, he was just doing routine drills. They said he was doing routine stuff, stuff that he does like a thousand times over in his sleep. Just normal stuff. And then he went down. And it's like, yeah, okay. That's unfortunate. And, and we know freak injuries happen. They do. Um, J.K. Dobbins, his happened at the Washington football team game. LJ Fort, uh, did his happen in the Panthers game? I think it happened in the Panthers game. I believe it did. I'm not 100% sure. Or was it? Uh, yeah, I think it was in the Panthers game, I believe. Um, but I know, like, having been there, and I know a lot of y'all been there too, you know Ravens, their facility is state-of-the-art. It's state-of-the-art. It's top-notch. It's clean. It's nice. It's a beautiful place. Um, the field is good. It's always kept in such great order. They keep that place in phenomenal shape. But you are still allowed to question, like, what is going on? What's going on? You're, you're allowed to. Don't feel bad for questioning that. Don't feel bad for thinking, like, man, are these Ravens doing something, like, out of the norm? Now, something else you got to keep in mind, too. This year, there have been a lot of injuries piling up. But at the same time, um, over the past couple of years, the Ravens, overall, they've been pretty healthy. They've been pretty healthy. But Ronnie Stanley, he went out for the year last season uh, due to, I think it was T.J. Watt that actually uh, ended up taking him out. Obviously not on purpose. But it was, it was T.J. and T.J. Watt just got his new deal. But it was T.J. Watt landed on him the wrong way, took him out. Um, last year, Nick Boyle, he went out. I, for, I forgot exactly how Nick Boyle's happened. Um, but, and Jimmy Smith, but Jimmy Smith, like, he got the history for it. Tavon Young, well, he got injured in the, uh, in, at Texan Stadium. So it wasn't even at the crib. Um, but, so Ravens, they did, they, they suffered significant injuries, but still, overall, they had still been one of the healthier teams, especially over the past two years, 2019 and 2020. Um, so I know there's been a lot of people, oh, fire the strength and conditioning coach. Some people even been saying, oh, fire Harbaugh. And I, I wouldn't take it there, but I still do think it is fair to question like, hey, 
because we're seeing this consistency uh, with these injuries. And it's concerning. It's, it's, it's very concerning. Um, sometimes stuff just happens. And that's what it seems to be with these. But at the same time, you, you, you still can question, like, what's going on. So don't feel bad for that. Anyway, uh, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, it don't even seem like there's a football game on tonight. There is, and it could be easy to forget about it because it's just all this craziness that's been going on. Um, but y'all, y'all, y'all keep your heads up, man. I, I I feel really bad for those guys, man. And then like with Marcus Peters, I know we ain't talking much about him in this video, but with Marcus Peters, just talking about him a couple hours ago. And just how he spoke of the Ravens, how he spoke about Lamar Jackson, how he spoke about things that he has struggled with throughout his lifetime as an NFL player. And it was and it was so genuine, man. It was so genuine. And now he's done for the year, most likely. Hasn't been confirmed yet, but yeah. So anyway, I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Um, and this thing just crazy, man. But I'll get up with y'all later on um, as... This Ravens world turns, man. Um, this thing crazy, man. But oh, and one last thing before we get out of here. I do not think this ends the Ravens season. Um, it very significant blows, but the Ravens season is not over. So anybody commenting, typing, tweeting, Facebooking, IG storying, oh, Ravens season is over. The season didn't even start yet. Season didn't even start yet. It is not over. These significant injuries, they suck. They, they are terrible. They're terrible. But the season is far from done. It's not even started yet. And just to be straight up, as long as Ravens, they got number eight at quarterback, this season ain't never going to be over because that dude is always going to get him a chance, man. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. We out.